Well, few people visiting the Boundary Waters canoe area would count portaging as their favorite part of the trip, but a town at the edge of the BWCA has taken portaging to new lengths. Boyd Hoopert explains in tonight's Land of 10,000 Stories. In Ely, Minnesota, rivers race, while canoes are known for a more peaceful pace. There's not much I don't like about canoeing. That's Dan Dramel in the stern and girlfriend Abby Dare up front. It's empowering. Both native Twin Cities who've embraced Ely's canoe culture. Ely wears canoes as proudly as prom queens wear tiaras. Which brings us to Ely's Nirvana. The day each fall when the nature of canoeing in Ely Morning, how you doing? gets flipped on its head. We're glad you're here for the fourth annual Ely Full Marathon. The world's only marathon with the canoe portaging division. It's a little nuts. I want to do it just to find out if I can, just to see if it's possible. Dan Dramel is now just a mile or two into a race in which he will shoulder a 35-pound canoe more than 26 miles. We think it's crazy. The <laughs> craziness started two years ago. Yeah. When Dan and Abby asked the race director if they could run the marathon, taking turns portaging their canoe for fun. We were like, well, why not? <laughs> Inspired herself the same year. Lenan Vesper crashed the half marathon on her own. It was really a personal challenge at the time. <laughs> Tradition born. I do a lot of canoe camping up here, and this is just the ultimate portage. Brian Bittner is among a dozen runners. I still wasn't feeling pretty good. Now competing officially in either the full or half marathon canoe portaging division. My first half marathon, not my first time portaging a canoe. Dana Gilbertson is running too. This is go Dana. <laughs> Navigating one of America's most scenic marathon courses. And I can't see it. <laughs> I haven't seen a bit of it. <laughs> it's just the front of a canoe. Way to go. Keep it up, you got this. Nice job. Dan Dramel, meantime, is nearing the halfway point <laughs> of the full marathon. He definitely wants to win. That's a huge driving force for him. I think it's just about learning what I can do and pushing my own limits and finding out what the next thing is. Number 689, Dana Gilbertson. Dana Gilbertson and her throbbing back approach the end of the half marathon. <laughs> the top female finisher. That's exactly what I expected. Absolutely miserable type two fun. Truest Minnesotan thing you could think of is to carry a canoe for a whole marathon. Then fighting the wind and more than five hours of a canoe paddling him. Definitely in pain. <laughs> Good work, Dan. Number 142. Dan Raymond. With a canoe on his back. Powers himself. <laughs> to first place. Dan Dremel. In the canoe portaging full marathon. Man can do anything. He'd yeah. probably do it again. No, no, I'm done. I'm ready to be done until next year. <laughs> A town where canoes are king oh. now has its crowning achievement. Oh, this is so easy. Yeah, it's really easy. Boyd Hoopert, CARE 11 News. <laughs> Eli. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That I can't is, imagine. That is makes unbelievable. My shoulders you know how they say hurt. everything starts to hurt, like the, where your socks rub and your shirt rubbing. Yes. Like, can you imagine that thing just bouncing on your back I and not being able to see very well? And oh the wind and the running. That's phenomenal. That is, that, what she said, though, is so true. <laughs> that is so Minnesota. It's the most Minnesotan <laughs> thing you can think of, I think. It's so oh beautiful. my goodness. Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. Great they story. We shot that on some pretty days. They mm. sure did. did. We have a bummer of them. This was such a Monday. I know. I completely agree with you.